what are the greatest minimum viable products of all time? I've absolutely no idea, but here are three of my favorites. Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to Development That Pays. Today, we're going to take a look at three of my favorite examples of minimum viable products. Before diving in, let's establish some ground rules for a proper MVP. It's got to be minimal, it's got to be viable, and it's got to be a... Actually, no, it doesn't have to be a product. I'll be showing you a great example of a non-product in a minute or two. It has been argued that the word product in MVP is unhelpful. Steve Cohen has made a strong case for using the word experiment instead, and I have to say I agree. But for now, let's stick with the P and temporarily redefine it to premeditated, meaning that the MVP must be a deliberate attempt to learn about the market. This rules out cases that look like MVPs in retrospect, but were really full products that just happened to everyone's surprise, develop into something big. Let's get going, starting at number three. It's Buffer. Buffer is an application that makes it easy to share content on social media. Way back in the beginning, they put these two pages on their website. It's a test, certainly, but at this point, not quite an MVP. The next version was better. They slotted this page in between the other two pages. Now visitors to the website are not just saying, this is interesting. They're saying, I want to buy this. In fact, there was nowhere for anyone to input credit card details or payment details of any kind. But anyone who got this far was at least prepared to think about parting with their money. As co-founder Joel Gascoigne said, after this result, I didn't hesitate to start building the first minimal version of the real functioning product. Minimal, yep. Viable, yep. Premeditated, yes, definitely. This was definitely an experiment. Buffer has gone on from this MVP to do really quite well. Its current valuation is something close to $400 million. Moving on to number two, it's Dropbox. Dropbox, as I'm sure you know, is a file synchronization service. Edit a file on your desktop, and seconds later, it's updated on all of your other devices. Rewind to the very early days of Dropbox. The team, entirely composed of techie types, had the basic synchronization working. That was the easy bit. The hard bit was going to be to achieve the same trick on every platform, Mac, Windows, Android, iPhone, etc., etc. Given that the team was all technical types, you'd have put your money on them diving straight in. Drew Houston, the CEO, did something surprising. He made a video. The video, just three minutes long, demonstrated the sync process end-to-end. -end. But it was more than just a simple demo. It was full and of techie in-jokes designed to appeal to early adopters. Scene where you'll see that not only are the changes from my Mac already here, but if I make- And it worked like a charm. In Drew's words, it drove hundreds of thousands of people to the website. Our beta waiting list went from 5,000 people to 75,000 people literally overnight. It totally blew us away. Minimal, yes, viable. Well, there wasn't a product that could be used, but there certainly was a product that could be demonstrated. Premeditated, yep, definitely an experiment. Dropbox also went on to do quite well. Its current valuation stands somewhere between five and $10 billion. It's time for my number one pick, it's Zappos. It's 1999, co-founder Nick Swinmurn, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, wanted to build an online store for shoes. But would people use it? Here's how he went about finding out. He popped down to his local shoe stores, he went in to each of the stores and he, and I shit you not, he photographed pairs of shoes. The photographs were uploaded to a super simple website. If someone clicked on a button to buy a pair, Nick could pop down to the store where he took the photo and buy the shoes. What I love about this one is that behind the scenes, there's pretty well zero infrastructure, almost zero inventory. And yet from the customer's point of view, everything appears to be perfectly in place. Minimal, definitely. Viable? Well, this time it's not even up for discussion. Definitely viable. Real customers, real money changing hands, real shoes being shipped. Premeditated? Yes, of course. Zappos went on to do quite well. They were acquired by Amazon in 2009 for a cool $1.2 billion. Buffer, Dropbox, and Zappos, three of my favorite MVPs. What do you think of my choices? Any you disagree with? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd also like to hear about your favorites. Let me know in the comments and I'll feature the best ones in a future episode. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to talking to you next time.